Okay, uh, this is episode 19 of Let's Play Act Razor. It is the final episode, and we are now sitting above Deathheim, ready to head in and commence the final assault. But first, I'm going to change my magic to magic. Yeah, sure. I'll roll with that one. I have no real idea what it does. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with light, I guess. I might end up changing it if it doesn't actually work. Alright, well, let's head in and see what goes down. I have no idea what to expect. Like a stand oh, it's a boss gauntlet. Hooray! And the minute over. Should I just have five lives? Can I just attrition this entire thing the entire way? Do I have to start over if I die? We'll find out. If I can not waste my magic. I see something like this that I can just attrition through. And we've taken care of the Minotaur for the second time. Alrighty. Phew. And, uh, what the hell is this thing? I remember a wolf. Oh, it's the wizard. That's right. I never <laughs> I never let him transform into the wolf when I missed the first time. Duh. Ugh. That was two, two points of damage I could have easily avoided. Oh, well, that works one way. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I got a swing at him. That's nice. This is... I love these parts right here, because I can just sit there and hack away at him. Because, like, the best part is when he does the lightning. If he doesn't do the lightning, then it's really hard to get a couple swings at him, because he's going to teleport away immediately. Oh. Transform. Rawr, wolf. Skinny wolf. Okay, no one's gonna get that. Okay, he's gonna do the Sigma thing as they're jumping on the walls. Oh, little flying head things. Well, that's two down. Hopefully I don't... Hopefully I don't have to do this all in one shot, because that would suck a lot. Um, I'm guessing this is the Sphinx. Okay, that did a lot. That did a ton. And I think I'm gonna waste it because I'm gonna die here. Yeah. Dead. Damn arrow. So... Oh! I started right here. Nice. No preamble. No teleport back to the battle. Just... I really wish this controller would allow me to jump straight up. It seems to have a habit of making me jump forward all the time. So if I can jump straight up, I can actually avoid those. I always end up jumping forward and landing on top of them. Or jumping in any direction other than straight up seems to do that. Uh, Alright, half done. Well, of course, then there's Tantra. Oh, this is that wheel thingy. I never, like, the Stardust raped this thing, like, so hard, so I never bothered to actually like, learn a pattern or anything. Or... So I'm pretty much... <laughs> doing this on a... Uh... Okay, he's gonna run across. There. I guess it's, his movements are based on mine. Kind of like the Sphinx from... The... I'm gonna die again. Yeah. Okay, three lives left, four spells, three bosses to go. Ducking does not help. Okay. Oh, stop doing that. Ducking does not help. Standing there does. Attrition! 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 
This is not working. Turn around when I tell you to. Alright, good. So, four down. Now, I believe this is the floaty thing, which I actually killed last in the playthrough, but it's supposed to be second to last. In. Yeah. No point trying to waste that. I landed on that. Give me that crap. That one just landed on me. How did I not get a swing off there? Failure. Okay. This is not looking good, people. Let's see if I'm gonna have to two for one him, which I can't take because I don't have the life to do so. Let's see if he's gonna hit me somehow without actually hitting me. Freaking Mega Man physics. I suppose the only way I'm gonna get up there to him is to, uh... <sighs> Making him come down to me like they did with the Sphinx thing doesn't work. Because it's just he lands on top of me and... I take that. Alright, two left. Come on. Haha, <laughs> win. Okay, two lives left, one magic, two bosses down. Or two bosses to go. One of which is the dragon. Which wasn't all that hard, if I remember correctly. Just a lot of, uh... Hopefully you get... Yeah, you get a lot of these. And don't jump into his ice. Spit. That was just me wasting magic. So, it's like God. Yeah, this life is over. <sighs> Last try. Can I do? Probably he's gonna have to grab my man. I duck under him when he does that? Try. The contours of this freaking thing aren't exactly easy to deal with. Okay, I can duck there. Side effect or walk into him. That would help. This seems to be the best method of Of course, I gotta get under him farther from that one. That's all the whole spacing thing. There we go. Okay, now we are on to Tanzra. I have no idea what to expect. So, let's give this a shot. I have how much health? Like, maybe 12? Okay, that's... He's, he's stardusting me. Cheap ass. Oh, I got I the auto swingy sort of thing. Right, nice. Okay. I'm just trying to jump over these. Right. Alright, uh... Is that it? Oh, no. Of course there's another form. And he's got a ton of health. This is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, that didn't hit me at all. Okay, try not to get hit by the fireball. Okay, heck, 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 heck. I do not like these little floaty things here. They kind of bother me. Oh, uh, man. Are you serious? He had, what, eight left? <sighs> no, I will not give up. First, what I'm going... No. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get back my Stardust Magic that did so freaking well. 
And now you're done. All of you, done. Quick, easy, over with. Back into Death Hall. Place another statue down, we'll roll with it again. Oh -ho. Bring it up, boys. Alright, attrition our way through the Minotaur. Or... I was hoping I could try dodging, but it just seems he's not gonna let me. I do like how there's a... Uh, well, I actually I hate how there's, he's got no real preamble to attacking. He just drops down and immediately does it, so you have to, like, time when he's coming down. And, of course, you're still moving to get out from under him while he's coming down, so timing is nigh very difficult. Very precise. And uh, I don't like very, very precise. This I don't think I need to actually use magic on. Let's keep doing that one. Don't oh, come down here. When I press the button to swing, I want you to don't just hit me in the head. That one too. Lovely. I love wasting health. Yeah, I think that's less than half now, so... Werewolf time! Dun dun dun! And just attrition him to death. This is what these, uh, source of lights were for. To make sure that... You can just attrition your way through everything. If you don't notice, attrition means... Uh, do damage to both parties and see who comes out on top. At least I think that's what it means. I can't get me wrong. I just know it means, uh, self, or something about self-sacrifice to kill. Okay, that was just me not jumping over it. And this is a fail. Oh, there we go. Alright, round two, Sparky. Probably shouldn't have tried to max out my life, because two points might help. I love just stepping out of range to swing at him. Come on, look down. Look down. Let's go. Come on. There you go. And there we are. Three down. Okay, well, since magic seems to be somewhat useless on the boss because I have the range, I will just uh, annihilate you the same way I annihilated you the first time. Hopefully it doesn't take that many. Two left. Guess who else is getting annihilated? <laughs> By Stardust. That's right, you are, you stupid asshole. I hate this thing. Yep, keep coming down. I'm just gonna send the stars back out of here. One left? Alright, come on, I can, I can deal with it. That's if I don't die and waste all that magic. Oh, <laughs> bitch! And the dragon. The dragon I'm pretty sure I can take with just melee hits. Be nice if I got a half apple in between bosses, that would be great. Some kind of Mega Man deal where I get some kind of life back. No. No help for you. Yeah, 
And if you were expecting a no soup for you reference, I hate Seinfeld with passion. So you are getting it. Oh, okay. So three lives left, two bosses, two spells. I'm pretty sure I can just deal with the dragon as is. Unless he stops me. He stop doing that, like, now. Because I cannot one for one with this guy. I just get that extra swing in there. What was that? Eight? Six? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Three lives, two spells, final boss time. Form number one. Stay in the corner here, jump the ones that are going to hit you. Let him have it. Get about half, a little more than half his life down. And then he just repeats this. And now we're back on the form two. Which actually, this is about the, I think about the life that I had when I got there first time. <laughs> nice managed to duck that. I really hate these things. Because like for some reason I can't hit them at all. Ever. It bothers me. No end. Okay, I got the orange one at the Okay, two hits left, come on. Yes! Thank you, Jesus. Please don't tell me this is the third form. Please, ah, uh, poop. Guess who's victorious? That's right. God wins again. Deathheim, clear. Who is your daddy now, bitch? <sighs> well, it was a tumultuous journey in which we saved a whole bunch of people, lost a couple people, we laughed, we cried, we killed some stuff. Now it is over. Our journey is at an end. I have been a tireless master. Yes, thank you, Captain Obvious. Our current duties are complete. Of course, God cannot stop watching over people or else the world goes to shit as we see when we look around. Okay, that's the last of my religious rant. I'll stop. I do feel a bit of regret that they will no longer need our help. I'm pretty sure they will. So let's start fighting. Let's take one last look at each of the thriving towns we helped develop. We helped develop? Someone, uh, did a little poor job with the spell checking. We navigate to Fillmore. This is Phil. I got that from the fr I got that from the fact that you went over it. Look how the people cleared and cultivated the land. No, I cleared the land, they just cultivated it. Prospering town. Oh, yes. One of the men of Fillmore had the ability to predict the future. We called him Charlie, and he died. Sorry, Charlie. His ability helped save Fillmore. No. He finally gave his life for his town. That I'll, I'll accept. But I totally went in that thing and raped that Minotaur, so he can suck it. I'm sure he expected that final fate from birth. All people are guided by a force called destiny. God's ultimate plan. Because people are unaware of their destiny, they may not understand all that life has to offer. The man who quietly accepted his destiny is also the one who becomes a great leader and person. I don't know how great a person he was, or a leader, in fact, is I sort of kind of led them around by the collar there. And now we go on to dead, I mean, blood pool. 
The lake has already returned to its beautiful blue color. Oh yes. There was an energetic boy named Name Teddy? Sir Genray and I are supposed to treat all people equally. But since he was such a likable young man, you never met them! No, he did not receive much of our attention. They told us Teddy's gonna get into trouble, here's Brad, go give it to him. That was the end of Teddy. Oh, do you remember the people who had to draw a lot to decide who was to be sacrificed? That's supposed to be a question. At the time, I didn't tell you, but I knew whose lot was drawn. Yeah, they told us. What do you mean, you didn't tell me? <sighs> yeah, it was Teddy. Woohoo. I would have went there and saved any three people. It didn't have to be Teddy. <sighs> just place so much emphasis on this one kid. This is the desert town, cast the door. Hey, God, you see the desert? This is the desert town. Now, there is very little evidence of the once massive desert, because we destroyed the <laughs> ecology of the desert. People said they were drawn into the pyramid by its magical powers. But should we believe this? Yes, what do you mean, should we believe it? There's a monster in there. People, monsters living in... The pyramid were nothing more than reincarnates of human slaves who built the pyramid. No, aliens built the pyramid. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a conspiracy theory. I shouldn't talk about that. Their spirits rem remained drawing people's minds to the pyramid. Now, the pyramid is sealed, and their souls saved. Ooh, you're welcome. They will be reborn as human beings. No, I'm going to make them all be reborn as cockroaches, because I feel like it. Itos. Yay, Itos. The Volcanic Town? I was so impressed by these people who tried to build homes in spite of the cont continuous lava flow. Volcanoes don't erupt that often, kiddo. Their leader passed from this life right before your very eyes and under my rain cloud. I am certain he dedicated his whole life in f to informing people of your existence. I hope Itos would become a beautiful town representative of his great spirit. Unfortunately, it hasn't. Of course, I think it did. Went to dip down to uh, Marana, the island. The jungle town. Yeah, let's, let's, let's ignore the fact that it's an island. My, they have built so many homes on such a small island. So they built compact houses? Affordable housing. It's a trailer park, really. I felt very sad when the town's two leaders were tempted by the wicked mirror. What the hell does that even mean? But human beings have a tendency to choose the easier way when faced with difficult difficulties. Having seen the people's weakness, I felt obligated to lead them in the right direction. Of course, you didn't do a damn thing, you little toad. So I was like, I should lead the people. God, tell me where to lead them. Silly little diaper-wearing angel. This is the last of our lands, Northwall. I felt a little guilty about letting people live in such a cold climate. Too bad for you. But they successfully overcame many problems. Their two leaders were telling us that when they found the two initials on the mighty tree... That would, isn't that two sets of initials? Just two initials is just one name. They felt a certain affection toward who or, or toward what or who had left the initials. I think those two leaders were sweethearts who had lived here long ago, but were killed by monsters. Ooh. 
their spirits have since come to dwell in these bodies. Reincarnation, that's Hinduism, not Christianity. Sorry, it doesn't belong in our story. If my story is correct, the sweethearts have finally reunited after a long separation. Yeah, because I kind of put them together. Even though they don't remember, isn't it a beautiful story? Of course it is, I crafted it. This being so, it seems your people as well as yourself have had hard times. Not really. Genray, why don't we take a look inside the shrine? And there is nobody there. There's no one here. Thank you, Captain Obvious. In former times, people would call for you and ask for your help. Silly people. As cultures and lands become more advanced, do people tend to forget those who helped them? Yes, generally. But then, people may be most happy when not in need of help from their master. Or when they have forgotten him. That's not a question. Should we yearn for a time when people will no longer need to ask for our help? Isn't that now? Didn't we just do... Is there another continent you're not telling me about? Silly angel. Just the kind of things I have to... The ocean extends for thousands and thousands of miles in all directions. So apparently there is another continent. And here we go. The staff of Actraiser. The ultimate credit roll. Not ultimate, it's sort of just a, hey, you finished, here's your reward. Looking at the credits of all the people who made this game possible. Because we all know, that's what gamers do. They sit there and stare at these credits and give silent thanks to all these people. This is what you should do. I don't know if you do or not. It's up to you, really. Yeah, the music in this game is pretty good. Uh, for, you know, the 16-bit era, it could be better. It could be worse. You know, it could just be a bunch of bleeps and bloops and a bunch of noise. But it's not really. It's more... It's a light, kind of frothy, orchestral, in a lot of ways, kind of befitting, you know, a game with heavy religious undertones. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the end. Yeah, Enix, the company, was bought out by Squaresoft to create Square Enix, a company that has taken a lot of my money and given me tremendous amounts of heartache for it. I still, I still have yet to play Final Fantasy XIII because of all the negative things I keep hearing about it. Plus, I'm broke. So, yeah. Uh, all in all, out of a 10, I give this game a solid 8, at least. It's kind of boring in the town building parts, but the action parts are fine. Act Razor 2 is a giant pile of crap. Don't even think about it. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. 1990. It's a pretty decent game. So yeah, that's my. This is my second completed let's play of Act Racer, the first one. And yeah, uh, in the future, I'm going to start doing Bahamut Lagoon because I was requested to do so on the weekends. Um, I was also requested to do Crystallis and Earthbound, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to do, but I'll get back to you when you see that. So keep looking out. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs>